is day 26 of my cycle and my period is starting. So I did think this month it might be a little bit earlier than I usually would get it, like around the 28th day or 29th day, but this is so messing with my plans. I've got a course I've got to do this evening. Can't tell you what it is, but it's like a three hour course. Um, I've got to drive like an hour away to do it. And I did not anticipate this happening. To give you an idea, it's Thursday. I thought my period was gonna come around Sunday because I've had a, if today's day 26, that means I've had a 25 day cycle. The only saving grace from this is that usually, fingers crossed this is the same, usually when I have a shorter cycle, the pain is much more bearable, it's not anywhere near as painful. Um, I am cramping a bit now, but I think that's partly because I need to go to the toilet. Um, and I have taken one Nurofen because I'm like, I want, I've got to go do this course and I don't want to miss it. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is, because I'm not really bleeding yet, I can feel the cramps coming on and I wiped and there's some like a little bit of bloody discharge, but it's not full on bleeding. I'm just going to put on this little County Cough Creations pad. I think this will do me for the rest of the evening and I'll obviously stick a spare pad in my bag as well, but just just mother nature why why does she do this to us just literally got back from my course now it is quarter past 10 i'm about to be ages together because i had to leave like rush hour here but only half an hour to get back thankfully in fact maybe not yeah half an hour to get back uh, which wasn't too bad so for dinner because it's quite late um i didn't quite finish all my lunch so i think and i'm not particularly hungry so i'm just going to finish that up which is some, you can't really see in here, but basically it's mushroom, kidney bean, and yellow pepper in like a sweet soy sauce. And then I also have some couscous, Ooh, some couscous, which I'll have with, I seem to get, have got into a really bad habit with this channel of just showing you guys when I have really bad food that's like mostly carbs. Um, I do eat quite a bit of carb, but I do have a lot of fruit and veg in my diet as well, mostly veg, I'm not a particularly sweet like fruit person but veg I do eat a lot of it I think just because a lot of the time when I'm filming I'm either ill so I'm you know or I'm just feeling a bit meh because of my period so I tend to cook easy things which happen to be like carbohydrate but I do I do I promise you I do eat a lot of veg as well like most of my diet is veg and beans and legumes and all that goodness anyway um so when I started my period uh, I haven't even looked at my pad that I put on the county cloth one um, didn't need to change, I didn't need to go to the loo while I was there, it was a three hour course I was doing, um, just work related, and it started at 6.30, finished at 9.30, and it's, as I said before, now, now 10, quarter past 10, um, and I started getting cramps, I think around 4 o'clock, 3 or 4 o'clock, um, yeah, 4 o'clock I took my Nurofen. For that first hour, I kind of had like on and off cramps. They were not painful, but just, you know, really uncomfortable. You couldn't quite get comfy. They weren't going away. They were just constantly there. Um, but by five, they'd kind of started to ease off when I got in the car. And I haven't felt a thing since. Like the whole course, I only remember my period at one point when I kind of moved and felt my pad shift. Um, but that was it. Like I had no problem. So that's really great. So hopefully, I think, I can't remember whether this is my second or third month with this bromelain. I think it might only be my second, um, but yet so far, like this seems to be doing really well. So if any of you have adenomyosis and want to try, because this is this was recommended on the adenomyosis website, that's why I decided to try it. And so far, I think it has done wonders. Um, as well as that, obviously I'm taking the usual Don Quay. Oh, just knocked the over. Don Quay, which looks like this. I put it in like a vegetable capsule, just an empty capsule to take it because it tastes disgusting and of course I always take magnesium as well because I'm always magnesium deficient no matter what I do so I always say that every day um but I talked about this before and I'll probably do an updated pain management thing at some point with the bromelain too but yeah that has really helped with my pain so far and last month I remember being really surprised when I was in Italy with my friend we were coming back on the second day I had no pain so well I took pain meds at four and it's now gone past ten so I've had it for six hours in my system can't remember the last time it lasted that long before so six hours it's done pretty darn well anyway i'm going to eat my dinner and then get ready for bed past midnight now and I started to cramp again about 
15 minutes ago, so I've just taken some more Nurofen because I'm thinking of settling down for the night, and I obviously don't want to be awake with pain. Um, put on my Moody Body underwear, period underwear, and yeah, probably just gonna read my book for a bit on my Kindle and then go to sleep because I'm tired today. Good morning, it is I think coming up to like 9:30, sometime between 9:30 and 10 now. I woke up around 8.30 and with the usual sort of needing to go to the toilet, not pain but you know discomfort and after I went that this sort of sharp pain has continued quite low down in my belly and I couldn't work out whether it's like trapped gas or if I still need to go to the toilet because sometimes when you're on your period you just need to go and go and it's really annoying. Um, but yeah it's just, it's, it's not... It is painful, but it's just more uncomfortable right now because I can't really like get into a comfy position. So I'm gonna, I'm just running a bath. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. I'm just running a bath again now, and I'm gonna try and sit and soak in it and see if that helps. Um, I did take a little bit more Neurofen because, like I said, the pain was kicking in. But um, hopefully this will be able to relieve this sharpness. I'm not sure what this is. It's, it's just a very weird pain. So mm. half twelve now, and I am definitely in the crampy stage of my period so I get like one wave at the moment I think this is what my period is sort of settling down into one wave where it's a bit uncomfortable not dire knock on wood but just a bit bit of discomfort and like quite achy so I've got a hot lavender bag on my belly right now and um, I've got a meeting actually later today at 2 fortunately at my house so I don't have to go anywhere um but I think I'll be fine for that, just, oh, it's not not the most fun. It only lasts, I think, like an hour or two usually this, so I've had it already going for like an hour and a bit, so with any luck, it should settle down in a minute. Well, boy have I had an up and down afternoon, so I can't quite remember when I last spoke to you guys, but I think it was just after my meeting, um, so that, yeah, the meeting went well, I was fine with that, then I'd say like about an hour later, started getting a little bit cramping but nothing bad and then suddenly like literally hang on literally out of nowhere there was there was like this wave of pain and it was because i had gas like trapped and it's horrible pain and usually it passes after a few seconds but this was like oh it made the blood rush to my head i went dizzy i went hot all over and I was like, okay, I need to go to the bathroom now. Went, had like a really bad, like, um, it's really common on your period to get like diarrhea and stuff. And had a really bad case of like period diarrhea. And th like, th once it's gone, the pain's okay, like it go eases, but it was still there. And I mean, I was like baking, or I had to rip off my top. I was like naked in the bathroom. Then when I finally finished, I was I just lay on the floor because I was like, I need to not pass out because um, I was just really hot and like my head was really dizzy by this point so I did that, felt a bit better, I had to get back up, go back down a couple of times and then like finally and then what happens is when you've gone really hot you suddenly go really really cold after a while when the blood sort of leaves your head and you kind of settle down a bit um, before I went in there I was able to quickly like swallow a Nurofen which I think helped a bit so um, I did, that was fine because it was time to take one anyway I just thought oh I'll be fine now because it had been so much less painful anyway yeah so I got up and I came back and I basically just lay back in the bed after that and went to sleep for a bit I don't know how long I've been out actually it might be an hour hour and a half I don't know maybe a bit more anyway I'm feeling much much better now so hopefully that was it I had my painful I have one painful patch, I've already said this, I have one painful patch usually on like the first or second day, depending on when I start, if it's late in the day, it'll come the next day. Um, had that in the morning, and then I thought that was it. Still got a little bit of crampiness, but not too bad. I think this is around 4.30. Between 4.30 and 5 o'clock, I want to say that that episode happened. So that was fun, but not as bad as I've had before. Like, I've had that headiness before, and I think the fear as much as anything kind of hit me and it was painful but like I said I could deal with it like the the period was under control enough that it was just yeah I, I don't actually know what triggered that but um I think I'm gonna go and have some toast in a minute because dry toast usually gets everything back together again <laughs> anyway I've also realized it's Friday and I'm supposed to have a video up today 
that's not going to happen. Um, and I have some something I've got to do tomorrow with these kids. I've got to take mini golfing. So I'm going to have to think about that when I'm going to get that up. Yeah. Morning. I'm aware that I didn't film late last night after I woke up, but I literally just had a snack. Watched some stuff on Netflix and then went to bed. I was feeling a bit bleh. Um, this morning I woke up, I actually woke up around 10 quite late because I got to bed quite late. Um, I just couldn't fall asleep because my body was a bit, I don't know. I, well, I'd had that sleep earlier in the day and then I think I messed myself up a bit. But I woke up at 10 today with like sort of mild cramps down below in my um, pelvis. But I was able to deal with it without taking anything because it's day three now. I'm not worried about getting into to that pain. Part of the problem for me is that because I have had such bad pain in the past, I tend to panic, even if I'm telling myself it's okay, you'll be fine, you don't need to worry about it, my body just internally starts panicking because it knows how bad it can be. Um, so I kind of have to tell my brain to get out of that on the days one and two. Uh, but by day three I know it's not going to happen, my body knows it's not going to happen so it's fine. Um, I am later on today, hopefully, if the weather holds up, taking uh, some friend of mine, three kids, uh, you know one of them, but I'm not going to show their faces, I might be able to film a little bit um, while I'm with them, but take them to mini golf and basically I'm just going to be the chaos manager, I'm not even going to join in myself, I'm just going to manage these three children because three boys do not do well at losing at stuff so I know somebody's going to have a meltdown, but either way it should hopefully be a nice day and then see my friend later um, when we get back, probably going to go for dinner with my parents as well this evening, so hopefully it will be a productive day and I've also just had the final um, design for the merch that I'm doing at the moment which is coming and it looks really good so I'm super excited. I'm not going to show it to you yet because I'm going to do a big reveal when I actually get them printed onto things um, but that's really exciting so that should be coming very soon hopefully when this is ready but that's really good. It's coming up to 1.30 now and I think I'm going to put a cup in so that for the rest of the day I don't have to think about my period especially when I'm out at mini golf and one of the new cups, I've got a couple of cups to try this month actually, one of them I'm going to try out this month is the very requested salt cup. So I'm going to go and trim this stem off because I never use the stem and let's go and see how this cup works out. Cup is in, hair is done, dressed, ready to go, let's do this. having great fun apparently. So I've just dropped the boys off, had a long conversation with their mum as well and now I'm heading back to have dinner with my parents. So this is my old teddy bear that I had like since I was a baby and a couple of years ago we sent it off to be sort of restored um, but they didn't do a really good job so I basically sent them off to get him completely recovered so hopefully he'll look alright in here. Good job. Whew, it's been a long day and I'm back now with a mark on my shirt. Anyway, um, so the cup is held up really well, the, the salt co cup. Um, I did feel like maybe a little bit of pressure more than I would some of the softer cups because they've got a bit more spring to it, but not uncomfortable. And uh, I've only had a little bit of leaking, which is normal for me. I get leaking with everything, just like a tiny bit, the first like blood around the cup making its way down. Um, but otherwise it's been fine, I'm going to empty it out in a little bit of time, not quite yet, and then switch it for the Nixit cup, which I still need to try out. Um, in the meantime, I completely forgot, but yesterday I got this package all the way from Pakistan, where did I put the scissors off? Oh, here they are. Um, which is from a cup company that I helped with, well, partly charitable, um, help with some design stuff, and I only gave them like one session just to kind of give my suggestions on a cup they had and some improvements that could be made to it. So it's not really like my design, but I did have an input in this. So I'm really curious to see kind of how the cup looks. And this package apparently has been around the block, so I'm not entirely sure if the whole thing is intact. But let's get it out. Oh. I think it's called Recircle. This one. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a nice note in here. It says. 
Hi Brony, thank you so much for helping us design the new and improved Recircle Cup. We are so grateful to you and then the Recircle team, which is really, really nice. It's a Pakistani cup, which is great. And um, I'd seen the lady who runs this Wasma, she was on BBC, they did like a story about her and then she contacted me a few days later about it. So I, like, I knew that they were kind of serious. So in this little box, ooh, nice little kind of cottony pouch here. Let's see. So I'm assuming they've just sent me the small. Yes. So, oh, interesting. It's got a hollow stem. This is the shape. Um, I won't go into too much detail because I'll probably end up doing a video on this separately anyway. But it's got a hollow stem, stretchy, very flexible, um, quite soft actually, a soft cup. So maybe I might put this one in because I quite like the thought of having a soft cup in there. And then more of a sort of bell shape than the V shape that they originally had, which I think is better. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a bit of a different shape. Um, like I said, I only gave them suggestions about things they could change. I didn't actually fully design the cup, and that was up to them. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to get this cleaned, get this sterilised, and then we will see how it works. So I think I'm actually going to end the vlog here guys because I really want to try and get this up, if not tonight, then early tomorrow. Uh, just so that I have something up for this week because next week but I'm going to be heading off to Morocco on the Saturday. So I really will have to get something done by Friday and I have another idea about what I might do for that video. Anyway, but I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Do please subscribe if you did to see these every month. And I also talk about all things sort of positivity related and period related and everything. I'm a little period positive pixie here. So do subscribe if you want to be a part of all that. Of course, don't forget you can get cloth pads and menstrual cups from my website, Precious Stars. Link as always is down below. And I will see you next week. Bye guys. Happy periods. <laughs>